trophy wife. Really wasn't ramping. She wants us to feel something. She wasn't ramping. Okay, so as the title suggests, I am going to be doing a first impressions of Fenty Beauty. I picked up a few things from there um, yesterday. I did my order, I made my order on Friday morning when it launched, because I was really scared it was gonna sell out. So I ordered a few things and I guessed my foundation shade online. I picked up 420 and then yesterday I went to Harvey Nicks in the morning um, to pick up my order obviously and to colour match and 420 seemed like a really good shade and then I picked up two more matchsticks so I have three matchsticks in total um, the foundation two kilowatt highlighters and the gloss bomb I believe and I think that's it so yeah we're going to be testing out all of those today um, and I'm going to use as much Fenty Beauty as possible on my face now I've never done a first impressions video before so guys please forgive me um, I'm trying I'll try not to talk as much but obviously I'll give you guys my input and what I think about the products as I go so I have my legendary Fenty bag here um this was part of the purchase so when you purchase it they don't give you normal bags they give you Fenty bags so I guess if we're going to start with anything let's just start with the eyes because that's normally how I do things so I'm not going to go too crazy on the eyes um I'm just going to use the kilowatt freestyle highlighter duo in ginger binge and moscow mule this one is ginger binge and this one is moscow mule and they are really pretty like when i first saw this i was like yeah yeah this is what i want so i'm just going to zoom you guys in a little bit so you can see what i'm doing in my eyes and get a color payoff and then we can work forward from there okay so we are up close and personal uh, you guys can see all the scarring i have so i have quite a bit of scarring i am a face picker so <laughs> i have quite a bit of scarring so it'll be really interesting to see if the foundation can cover this scarring or what sort of coverage it has but like i said right now we're going to work solely on the eyes um so that we can have something to complete the look really so i'm going to be using these brushes i got these brushes from ebay and they were super cheap um so i'm going to be using these brushes as well to trial out how good they are if you guys see like some white bits on my face it was my primer i don't think it worked very well with my moisturizer so um it's a new primer that i'm using so i'm still trying to get used to it so please ignore so i'm going to take a fluffy brush like a fluffy blending brush like this and I'm literally just going to take my old beat up girl and bronzer and I'm just going to um, put this on the eye. So I'm going to take Moscow Mule and I'm going to place that on the lid. Ooh, well, it's, it's very, very soft. Oh my God. That is pretty. Ooh, that's all the way pretty, child. Oh, that's really pretty. Can you see that? Yes. Yes, Rihanna. Oh, and you can build up the intensity as well. Oh, that's gorgeous. And I think if you wet it, you're going to have even more of a shine. Okay, so I'm just going to go in and blend that a little bit. But yeah, that's pretty. There is a little bit of fallout, but not too much. So I just put on some mosquito lashes. Um, the ones I use with Starlet, they're very natural because I sort of want this to be like, well, I hope it turns out to be a natural look. So next, um, I've primed already. Sorry if I keep looking over there, it's because my monitor is over there, but I've primed already. So I guess it's time for the foundation part now. Please excuse if you can hear my mum in the background. She's talking to her sister. She's going in, she's loud. I'm used to it. If you guys can hear it, I'm really, really sorry, but my door is closed. She's downstairs and I can still hear her. So <laughs> it is what it is. As a Ghanaian child, as an African child, actually, you just you just deal with it. Here's the foundation, uh, the Fenty Beauty Foundation, a Pro Filter Soft Matte Longwear Foundation. I got the shade 420. Um, I color matched myself online, which was risky, but um, I went into the store the next day to pick up my order and the um, assistant on the stand switched it on my hand as well as on the side of my face and it seemed like a good fit so this is going to be the first time that I'm wearing it 
all over my face so we're really going to see for shade reference if you guys go by mac i'm like an nc50 um and i wear sandalwood by estee Lauder uh, double wear i will also leave in the description box a, a link to my blog that will give you all my foundation shades and as many foundations as i have so if you guys want to check that out just look in the description bar below but yeah i went for 420 i have very golden slash neutral undertone so i can't wear anything too red now i know a lot of people have been saying that this foundation oxidizes and then at the same time i saw a fenty beauty story that said it does not oxidize but on the fenty beauty website it says you need to let these dry it down if you are deciding between two colors go for the lightest one which would indicate that it dries darker now when i was looking at swatches of 420 they were all super light so that's why i got worried but it seems like when it's blended into my skin and it's dry it's okay so we're really going to have a look to see if this will work today i'm very very excited because i've seen it on other youtubers i mean there's about a thousand of these videos out now and it looked great on them so i'm going to try it out um i think what i'll probably do is one side beauty blender one side brush oh no so yeah we're going to do one side beauty blender one side um with a really soft buffing brush actually the, there's no density to this whatsoever so this is going to be interesting but once again we're looking for a natural look so let me pump so that's what it looks like on my hand oh my god it's running so it looks i feel like that looks light i feel like if i was in like i was referring that to a mac shade i'd say that's like an nc45 which i'm definitely not it blends in lovely though it's not really covering anything per se but okay let's apply straight to the face shall we so when you see that it looks super light doesn't it my mum is talking loud fam okay let's see stippling works It actually does blend out beautifully like I'm doing minimal work and it's blending out beautifully but in terms of covering scars I think you need to go in with a little bit more but I think 420 is definitely a good match for me definitely need more coverage so I do not have perfect no mark skin and i'm sure a buffing brush really isn't helping but it's okay we work with it child we work with it so yeah i have hyperpigmentation i have dark marks okay well i mean it looks beautiful in real life it looks gorgeous like there's no cakiness at all um it's just my skin looks super super smooth super super smooth okay so let me do the top and then we can do a comparison to see you know how my face looks with and without it so i think if you want it's funny it's buildable but it's not cakey which i think this is like the best formula because it's great for like if you want to have flawless skin like because you know rihanna always looks flawless but obviously she's wearing like red carpet makeup and i guess i don't know if that's natural or a lot of makeup but her skin always looks flawless and i guess this is the secret whatever's in here is the secret because you know you can build this up and it still looks it doesn't look cakey like other matte foundations do yes yes come on now come on now this foundation is actually beautiful i feel like it matches my neck perfectly as well and I find it so hard to get foundation that matches my neck. And it looks so light. Like, it looks so light when I apply it. Come on now. Come on now. When I started this video, did you see my hyperpigmentation? It's like I'm wearing... It looks like my skin is flawless. Auntie. Auntie Riri, you have done wonders, oh. You have done wonders. Oh, my days. You know when people hype on, like, YouTube when there's, like, a new product and, like, oh, my God, I love it, I love it, I love it. I'm like, okay, calm down. Who am I to tell you to calm down? Who am I to tell you to calm down? 
I'm using a beauty blender. It is a fake beauty blender that I also got from eBay and I kind of like this a little bit more than the normal beauty blenders. It's got more of a suede feel rather than a porous feel but I feel like that works really well with blending out foundation. So let's go in with a beauty blender on the other side and we really want to be paying attention to these marks here to see if this can cover it. And it's a little bit yellow but not crazy crazy all right so now we have our base on we want to move on to finishing so I picked up some matchsticks um I picked up three now stupidly I did not pick up the trio which is cheaper than buying the three individually but it's because the I ordered espresso separately and then I went into the store and decided that I wanted rum and suede so that's why I didn't order them together but they actually do sell a trio of three per your skin complexion so deep tan medium and light I believe something like that uh, for 46 pounds which is cheaper than buying them individually because individually they are 21 pounds I got three of the matchsticks they are magnetic so oh god which is good for traveling I think it's good and it means, it means you don't misplace them or you're not meant to misplace them but very good for traveling and I got suede espresso and rum so suede is um, a light shade here and this is what I'm going to use to highlight so I'm just gonna go in and do that now and see if this is light enough because I wanted to get latte but when I switched it with the sales assistant we both agreed that it was definitely a bit too light so uh, let's see how suede works Okay, so suede's pretty natural. I'd say this is probably like one or two shades lighter than me. Okay. I normally, when I contour, I normally contour all the way up because I have a round face. So I want to create some, I basically want to create a cheek. So this is what I do when I highlight and contour. I will say though that I'm getting smile lines already. This is the matchstick in suede. Um, oh my god, it sticks to everything. So I'm just going to use a beauty blender to blend this out and see how easily this blends out. Okay. I feel like that's blending out really easily. Okay, so that blended out super easily and it's not too brightening. It's like a natural brightening. What do you guys think? I like suede. Suede's very natural. Let's check if it's buildable as well because that's good to know. So let me take a bit more. I'm just going to check if it's buildable and run that underneath my eyes again. It doesn't feel greasy on my face which I don't like feeling the feel of makeup on my face and it doesn't feel greasy at all and I think it's done a good job I mean if you look at me now do you guys think that I have like a ton of hyperpigmentation like you saw in the beginning of the video like does that look evident if no then that's a good sign <laughs> so now obviously we're going to go on to contouring and for contouring I am going to be using espresso which I believe is the darkest shade for the matchsticks the matte matchsticks so they have the matte ones which is suede and espresso for like contouring and highlighting and then they have the shimmer ones for um highlighting highlighting so I'm going to pick up espresso which is really really dark um let me i can switch this on my hand for you guys so yeah she was not ramping she was not ramping so what i'm going to do is i'm going to use the edge of it to create a line and then i'm going to use my beauty blender my booty blender to blend it out I really hate using a beauty blender to blend this out but I feel like a beauty blender is the best thing to blend out contour but I just I need something that's more precise like a long beauty blender I'm pretty sure someone's probably already made it I was just not aware of it and what I'm finding now is that it sets um, and it sets pretty quickly so you need to work with it so that's everything blended out and you can see it looks like I have a little bit of um well I have more definition to my face basically and that's what I'm looking for 
just to clean up the contour a little bit. I feel like my cheeks are always different sides, so one is lower than the other. I don't know why. It's always been like this. I try to even them out, but it's just, it never works. Underneath my contour to clean it up a little. My smile lines are definitely setting in at the moment, so a little bit earlier than normal, if I'm being honest. So let's, let's move on to a little bit of shimmer, and I'm going to use Rum, which is this gorgeous shade here, and I'll swatch that as well. Like... God damn, can you see? Let's do rum on the tip of my nose, which is just here. Ooh. Ooh, that blends out a dream. Okay. And the bridge. And on the tops of my contour a little bit. Just going to use my finger to blend this out because I've already added powder here, so... It's pretty. I'm going a little bit easy with rum because, of course, I had to pick up Trophy Wife. So let's bring it out. I think Trophy Wife was the thing I was most scared about because I've never really been one for green golds. And this is a green, hella pigmented gold. So you really need a light hand. So, yeah. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. God. Who? Who? Chat. Trophy wife. Ree wasn't ramping. She wants us to feel something. She wasn't ramping. Okay, so I'm going to use this brush and I'm literally going to take the smallest bit. I'm going to dust it off of my hand because, um, yeah. Ooh. Ooh, yeah. Okay. Ooh. It is very, very sparkly. It is, it's sparkly. Am I a fan of this? I, it's very sparkly, I think. And I tried to use it on my chest, but I just have a sparkly chest now. I think I need to learn how to use this the right way. I think on my nose, it looks really cute, um, but I need to figure out a way to use this. I am super, super aware that I haven't set my face. So let me set my face. I normally do set my face because I have oily skin so let me do that now I'm glistening <laughs> I'm glistening basically um, and for blush we are going to go in with ginger binge which is the less sparkly side of the uh, Moscow Mule ginger binge um, kilowatt duo so we use this on the eyes and I'm going to use this on my cheeks now it's subtle It's really subtle, but I kind of like that. It could just be a huge, bloody great big light shining in my face, but... I feel like um, Ginger Binge is really, really subtle. Like, super subtle. but it diffuses really well. Am I wearing too much now? I probably am. Obviously, last thing is the a lip gloss. So um, there is one lip gloss released in the entire collection. I believe this is 16 pounds. Um, and this is the Fenty Glow Gloss Bomb. Um, and yeah, it's this gorgeous color. I've smelt this. This smells fantastic. It smells like, what does it smell like? oh my god it smells like really sweet body cream that's all i can compare it to but it smells beautiful i'm not even going to go in with line i'm just going to apply this directly onto my lips because technically that's what you're meant to do the applicator is great for girls with big lips like me oh that feels nice mm. this is super moisturizing it's like um a lip balm oh you still want to apply loads because it smells so nice. You're going to go glossy, you might as well go glossy, you know what I'm saying? Wow. Oh, that smells fantastic. Okay, guys, so this is the finished look. Absolutely everything Fenty Beauty besides my lashes and my setting powder. I feel so natural right now. So in terms of what I think about each product, uh, just first impressions, um, the Kilowatt Duo in Moscow Mule and Ginger Binge is really, really pretty. Moscow Mule is so 
gorgeous like that color is my favorite color it works well as a spotlight lid it works well as a lid color it is just so gorgeous and I'm pretty sure it worked fantastically as a highlighter I absolutely love it ginger binge wasn't as pigmented as I thought it would be but it's still really really beautiful it blends into everything else without you having to work super super hard so it's almost like you can't apply too much of it because I don't know it just blends out really really well um then we went on to the foundation which is in the shade 420 supernatural i can't even get over how natural this is and all i've done is set it with a really thin layer of translucent powder i don't want to put any face powder on or anything like that i wanted you guys to see what it looked like up front and it's beautiful the only thing i would say is that my small lines are coming in already um, and normally it takes a, like maybe an hour for them to come through but they're coming through already that could just be down to the fact that I didn't prime around that area properly so I don't want to blame it on the foundation just yet but my small lines have definitely come through then next we went on to the matchsticks the matte matchstick in suede that blended out really well as well I really liked how that looks on my skin I think it's really 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 pretty um, and it's not too crazy in terms of highlighting it's like probably like one shade up and it blended out a dream guys it blended out an abs like literally minimal work and it doesn't feel greasy on my skin as well which I really really love um then we use the uh contour stick in espresso which I really like because it gives a bit of warmth I was expecting it to be very like cool toned and not much warmth but it gave me a lot of warmth which I wasn't expecting um and it does set it sets pretty fast so i'm assuming this thing is probably set by now suede not so much but maybe because i didn't let suede sit but espresso definitely did set then we use the uh, shimmer stick in rum which is also super pretty um i think if you're looking just for like an everyday natural dewy highlight i think rum would be absolutely gorgeous uh it's a gorgeous color very very complimentary for women of color or people of color i think it is beautiful and then on top of that <coughs> we went in with trophy wife which has blown me away it is not for the faint-hearted and i think i definitely need to find a way to work with it surprisingly trophy wife if i'm being completely honest is the one that i wasn't too much a fan of not because of the color which actually shocked me because i've never been a fan of green golds but uh the sparkles the sparkles are really i want something that doesn't dissipate into sparkles or glitter per se i just want something a little bit finer i'm not really a big fan of that if you are then that's absolutely fine but for me i just like a smooth highlight um then uh what else did we do yeah and then we did the lip and gloss bomb which i'm absolutely in love with it's literally a moisturizing lip balm it is not sticky it smells fantastic and it looks so natural like i'm feeling myself babe i'm feeling myself are you feeling it so what do you guys think i mean she's done well she's done absolutely well with this uh line i'm very very impressed with everything that i bought pigmentations on point blendings on point and i'm not just saying it because it is rihanna but for someone to come up with an extensive shade range just right off the bat is amazing and i have to admit i did say that at first i was a little bit like I think the word was I was a little bit disappointed at the amount of shade she had for women of color or people of color sorry but now I know that they get slightly darker um I think that sort of definitely does widen the range so I saw 420 when I switched switch I was like that's not gonna work for me but then 430 is too dark or too red but it works perfectly I think I think it just suits my skin tone so so well so yeah I'm absolutely in love with this collection I'm already thinking about what Rihanna will release as a holiday line because I think her holiday line is going to be insane I think she's going to extend this I think there's going to be lipsticks there's going to be more matchsticks like more colors limited editions I think it can only get better so do I recommend the Fenty line yes I do I cannot test for longevity just yet so I'm going to test and do swatches on my blog so make sure you visit my blog discoveriesofself.com also like I said if you want to see my foundation shades click on the link in the description bar below that will take you to my blog that will give you a list of foundations that I regularly use and the shades that I use but so far really here for um fenty beauty my only niggle is my smile lines and learning how to use trophy wife but this is a natural beat i've never i don't do natural beats like this is a natural beat and i feel natural like i feel supernatural everything is flowing nothing's like tight on my skin like 
what else can I say? So yeah, thank you so much for watching guys. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. If you like my channel, please subscribe. The subscribe button is somewhere down here in red, so make sure you subscribe. If you have any questions, comments or queries that I've missed out in this video, please, please, please leave them in the comment section below and I will get on them very, very soon. And yeah, thank you so much for watching guys and I'll see you guys soon. Bye. Mwah.